Me. Good morning, evening, afternoon. I'm Tato Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we're playing the Heroic Legends of Eldramia, Igornia, Garnia. <laughs> uh, previously, um, uh, I attempted to sabotage somebody. Um, I got my fortifications up. I'm training my army. I plan on attacking Percival. I believe that's who I sabotaged. At least I'd hope so. Um, it's been a while since I've actually played, so I think that's what I did last. And now I'm learning how to, uh, do other stuff, I guess, because we're still in the tutorial. And that's right, this chick had a, a, one of those hee-hee voices. Excellent work! You successfully executed sabotage order! Next, let's take a look at the lobby command. This action allows you to try to convince other heroes from neighboring factions to join your cause. Please note that some heroes can only be convinced by specific individuals. Now let's try using the lobby command. Yep, that sounds about right where I left off. Alright, lobby command. We shall do. Hmm. Diplomacy. And, oh, lobby is right there. I guess Percival before we take it over. Okay. Oh, you have your own lore. All right. Ad Herbal is a highly esteemed and courageous warrior who serves as a general for the Nubian army. He possesses extraordinary talent as a military commander and is known as the Eagle of the Desert due to his superb situational awareness battle in battle. I guess we'll lobby for him. Yeah, let's lobby for him. It's a 6% chance, but let's go for it. I will do my best. Okay, cool. Of you, why not? Because also... Lord Donalu is a dark elven professional assassin. Why does all of your stuff kind of suck, though? Who operates in every major city in the land of Laud. Underneath her attractive appearance hides a deadly surprise. As one would expect someone of her looks to be cutting edge assassin. As none would expect. I was about to say, what? That doesn't make sense. She values beauty to the point where she refuses to let go of whatever she deems as such. As a professional assassin, Lord Donalu always chooses the most beautiful prey and employer. Once she has hunted down her target, she enjoys cutting out her favorite part of them with her dagger and preserves it forever. That just makes you a serial killer. That's not an assassin. That's a serial killer for hire. But sure, I'll lobby for you. Um, I guess I should choose someone pretty. I feel like Anisia is pretty, but she's very young. Oh. Uh, so let's go with Minerva. Minerva's pretty, pretty. I know the success rate's only 5%, but hers is so much higher. Okay, you know what? No, I will go. She is adorable, right? Maybe she's into that. Okay, uh... I also want to... Fortify. That's all there is to executing a lobby order! Cool. On the topic of sabotage, once you've managed to reduce a target city's defense to where it's below your army's strength value, you can consider launching a direct attack. For now, assign task to your remaining heroes before ending your turn. Alright. Um... 
Okay. Yeah. Go back, I guess. Go back. Um, is it expand? I think it's expand. It could be military. There it is. Fortify. I want to fortify all of my countries. All two of them. My cities. Confirm. Confirm. No problem. I'll do a great job. I turned off the, the voice because it's in Chinese. See, when I played it, I thought it was a Japanese game. And so I was very confused why it didn't sound familiar to me. And I just turned it off because I can understand some Japanese, but I, I understand very little Chinese. So, yeah. No problem. I'll do a great job is what he says. All right. And I also want to fortify this one. It's a little bit. Okay. You can do it. Navart. I am pretty good at this. Won't you? I won't let you down. Okay, sure. Um, Minerva. Actually, Minerva. I wonder if there's an- I can- I can lobby from other places, right? I already have two lobbyers. I guess I can, uh, train my army a bit. Because I want them to be in tip-top battle shape when I take Percival back. There's no weak soldier, but incapable drill master. Okay. Let's continue to our, our turn. Conclude. They're doing stuff. They're acting. We made it. Okay. Add her bulger. Oh, they did in space there. Agreed to join us. We made all her... Oh, yeah, just for that. Let's be nice to each other. Agreed. She ignored her speech. Okay. I feel like Anisia fails at a lot of things. <laughs> uh, uh, a very successful measure... Great gains, okay. So Oh, cool. So it has gone up quite quite a bit. Cool. Tolerance has increased to one ninety five. Oh has increased one ninety five and uh Baroness has got has gained two hundred and seventeen. That's not bad. And the training is working. Okay. So they have a bit more before they level up. Now the time to delve into diplomacy. Negotiations are crucial su to success. As it allows you to avoid becoming public enemy number one. I'm not making her noise annoying up. By establishing 20, you can improve income. income. Oh, by 20? <laughs> by establishing treaty, you can improve income by settling trade agreements with other factions or forge temporary alliances with them. Okay. Let's try to negotiate with someone. Uh, oh, I had to click on it first. 
Um, treaty? Okay. Your prosperity is 977. Yours is quite high. But your defense is low. You might be scared of me a little bit. But you're of the same country, aren't you? Yeah. Does the city matter? Or does the country matter? Let's see your income. Okay, well, you have less income. I'm going to send... A zero. Well, it's all 0%. If that's the case, I'll send Anisia in. Okay, it doesn't matter if it... If, does it matter on the country? I'm not going to let Percival go. I need to dominate that one. Or can I choose other countries? Zero percent. Still zero percent. Zero percent. Alright, so it looks like it's basically 0%. No matter what I do. How far can I go? Can I go all the way over here? Or is this my enemy? This is shining blue. Yeah, so 0% no matter what I do. Alright. Yeah, we'll see the Nisia in. Hello, my lord sent me to deliver a message. Go on. You win if you... If I take it seriously. Uh, I can't trade anything. An alliance? And I will offer you gold. Well, this is inconvenient. Oh, I can type it in. Five hundred. <laughs> Only heroes of lawful alignment can be recruited. Can I recruit them? Impossible. Uh, I'm not offering a city. What if I request a city? I want this current city. Yeah, I just want that. Yeah, thought so. Mm. 
Yeah, I didn't think that was going to go well. That's one negotiation done. And failed, you failure. If you find that the success rate is too low for your liking, you can offer other parties some goals or even cities to improve the odds. Prisoners can also be used as bargaining chips. Okay. Well, let's lobby. Let's see if she will respond. Actually, what if I take one of your people? Since you're so rude. Garcia. Oh, you, you're somewhat useful. Garcia, the young niece of Governor General Durant, is a lively girl with an adorable appearance. As a child, she received the best education the nation of Agmonia had to offer, granting her a massive advantage in the life of others. Once during a trade conference, Garcia, who served as the meeting's interim chairman, not only exhibited exceptional linguistic and organizational skills, but was surprisingly even able to understand the many languages of the businessmen from all over the world. Soon after that meeting, she was assigned to be the Governor General Deputy and a diplomat for Harmonia. Her excellent business abilities allows her to handle everything effortlessly. Okay. We'll send him out. He's good at stuff. Yeah. Then I'm setting out. Wait for my good news. Okay. Um. We gotta sabotage Percival some more. Minerva can do that. Actually, I want to try to lobby one more time. Lerdalu. With Lena. I'll do my best. Maybe she will respond to Linda because Linda's kind of hot. Um, and what are my defenses on my cities? Two thousand six hundred. I would like that to be higher. Kind of also an increase in military. For you, I will I mean it was like at what four hundred? So that should be enough, right? Yeah. If 
Brothers, follow me. Let your blood boil. Alright. Um. I'm going to add defense. Whoa! Why am I all the way up there? No, thank you. Go back down. You scrolled up so quickly. Go down. 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 Okay. Uh, nope. Sometimes there's a delay. And I click on things too quickly. Like twice. Um, expand. And I will fortify. Let me take care of those investments, okay? Um, I guess now I'll end my turn since I have zeros. Zero heroes. And they're all doing stuff. Refuse to join us, okay? Refuse to join. All right. Plan has been carried out successfully. Cool. Trading. Another level two. The most important asset of your kingdom is your army, which can be maintained, managed through your barracks. Let's head over there now. All right. Military barracks. In order to attack or defend, heroes must be added to the barracks. If you find that there are not enough space, you can expand it by paying gold to upgrade it. Here you can use the change unit function to switch between the different types of troops you've unlocked. Now of course having an army is going to cost you gold and lots of it. The more troops you have, the more you must spend their, on their upkeep. When your heroes rise in level, the number of troops they can command will increase. Troops will also become more expensive when you level them through drill orders. As a monarch, it's your duty to keep your economy and diplomatic sti situation in mind when managing your army. If it's too small or weak, you'll run the risk of being attacked. Also, heroes that have already carried out other orders will be unable to attack. However, they can still dip in your cities during the end of your turn. Okay. Um. Okay, that's cool. Now then, select an enemy city of your choosing and launch an attack. This is done through the attack command, which is nested, nested in the military section. When selecting a suitable target, you can inspect the city's information by hovering your cursor over it. 
713. You know what? I'm not going to attack yet. It's going to make me attack. I'm going to sabotage it. I thought I sabotaged it before, but I guess I didn't. Does sabotage in military? No. Diplomacy? It's a weird thing being diplomacy. They're not actually in my barracks. No problem, I got this. Um, yeah, I'm not ready to battle them just yet. I want to try and gain people. Even though it tells me to attack. I will attack in the next ones. Is there anybody over in the other part? I can't go to Hercules. your lore. Maybe you can help me out with something. Vincent, a man of great vision and insight, possesses excellent skills in both marksmanship and swordsmanship. He was once an adventurer who set off from Hagmonia of the Almond Islands traveling all around the land of Lod. The regular corporation cooperation with the House of Sisandir, Vincent was able to continue funding his extensive and distant travels and became well acquainted with Kershda, whom he ad adequately took a fancy to. At the end of his adventure, Vincent arrived at the royal capital of Percival and became a valuable subordinate. Alright, we'll see. And I'm selling away for my good news. I don't believe it. Don't believe you'll have good news for me. Never have good news for me. Boo. Um. Okay. And. I feel like the more heroes I have, the more stuff I'm able to do. There we go. It'd be great if I'd stop somehow landing over here in this dark abyss. Okay. 
Um, That's only 170, 2,600. Yep, we're going to do that. Uh, stop it. Stop. Alright, um... And military. Drill. I'm going to get you to level two, too. Yeah, I know. You're not good at most things. I feel like I'm a bit mean to her. She fails a lot. Every time I send... She did one thing successful. After that, she failed at everything. Yeah, I didn't do what you told me to. Tutorial. I'll do it the next time. They're doing stuff. They're doing stuff. They're doing stuff. Refused. The plan went smoothly. Okay, cool. The training was good. Oh, just short. How did their defense increase? We sabotaged them. I take it he did not succeed. You know what? We're gonna have a couple people sabotage, and I'll send somebody more competent to do it. Cause I don't want to. I don't want them to be that high. They weren't that high before, which meant he failed. We'll lobby again. Can I sabotage the same country twice? No? Okay. You know, maybe she's a child, so... Anisia will have a better shot. Because only some people work. Send a child to take care of a child. And... For her... Maybe because he was a part of that country. Sending him in to go get her. 
will work. Uh, and I guess I'll... Level up. And military some more. Just a little bit. sabotage them a little because they annoyed me. Well, actually, who is weaker in this country? Oh, I guess I can only sabotage them. Yeah, let's whittle them down too. After this, I'll attack. I guess. I think I missed my opportunity before. I should have done what the tutorial told me to do, but that's okay. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Let's see what this does. <laughs> Wait, she ignored. He's too stubborn. I thought it was a girl. I thought what's her face was a girl. Big Metropolis, Change Zero. So you guys didn't get me anything. Well, I guess we should like just attack. Our army's okay. I guess. But we shall see how the uh, battle goes in the next episode. 